In this lesson, we will try to understand the difference between normal force and weight. When you apply a push or a pull on a box, it changes normal force, but it doesn't affect the weight. So for example, there is a 10 kilogram mass sitting on a table. If someone so what is the weight of this box the weight of this box is 98 newton 10 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second square which is 98 newton now if someone push it the normal force the table has to apply more upward force to keep it balance what if some what if someone um apply upward force then there would be less normal force because the table immediately would realize that there is someone pulling the box so now in this problem we're going to try to understand how the normal force changes if you change the uh, pulling force or pushing force. So let's get it started Right, so first we're gonna do let's do push so um, A push a push So I have a object the same object over here so I have the object and that is 10 kilogram sitting on this table. So oh, what is the weight of this object? The weight of this object, remember the force, force is equal to weight. Uh, well, I, I, we can write it a little differently. Force is equal to Fg, which is equal to Ma, which is equal to Mg, which is equal to the weight right so why is because uh, the reason is very simple because SI unit for force is Newton SI unit for FG is Newton SI unit for MA is Newton SI unit for MG is Newton and SI unit for weight is also Newton so let's try to find the weight so what is the weight of this box so we're going to use the simple equation weight is so weight is MG m is 10 kilogram and g is 9.8 meter per second square so weight is 98 newton so 98 newton so weight of, of this box is the box is 10 kilogram weight of this box is 98 newton uh, so this force due to gravity and the tab will apply a force which is equal in magnitude opposite in direction making the net force zero so the acceleration is also zero so uh, what else is also zero velocity is also zero because the object is rest so Newton first law all right now let's uh, let's change the pushing uh, pushing force now uh, all right so let's see uh, zero and then how that changes the weight and how that changes the fn with zero pushing force the the new the the weight is 98 newton and the normal force is also 98 newton now let's say uh, 10 newton and then uh, and then and then 50 newton all right, so if we apply 10 Newton, how that would change? So let's see. All right, so let's put the table over here. Okay, so this is the table. Make the table small so I have more room. So what would the weight be now? Weight is still... Uh, 98 newton so weight doesn't change so weight is still 98 newton 
So the normal force, now let's see how many force acting on it. Pushing force is 10 Newton. So pushing force is 10 Newton. And the normal force is, we're gonna have to find normal force. We see that the normal force is uh, 10 plus 98. So it's gonna be uh, 108. So normal force is 108. But we can definitely prove it. Prove it. Uh, we can definitely show why the normal force is going to be. We can, we can show why the normal force is going to be 108. So Fy, we write Fy, all the forces acting at Fy is equal to F push fn and fg so let's write the positive one fn minus f push uh, minus fg so at the y direction what is the net force net force is zero why net force is zero because if f push is less than the weight then the net force is zero keep that in mind so zero is equal to fn minus fp minus fg so fp plus fg is equal to fn so fp is 10 newton plus 98 newton is equal to fn so fn is equal to 108 newton so which one is the longest which one is the largest vector fn is the largest vector so we have to change it so fn is the largest vector so this is fn which one is the second largest? Um, 98 is the second largest. So we're going to change 98. So 98 is the second largest. 98. We're going to write 98 with this. So 98. So this is 98 Newton. What is the smallest? This one is the smallest. So we're going to also make it red. All right. So two vector, two vector acting downward and one vector acting upward and if you add them both let's put the red one f push and f uh, and fg which is equal in magnitude with fn and opposite in direction making that force zero at the y direction acceleration is zero at the y direction velocity is zero at the y direction so newton first law Okay, so problem uh, scenario number one, Newton fast law, scenario number two, Newton fast law. So we're going to update this table 108 Newton. This is what we said before that the normal force changes, but the weight remains the same. We're going to do it 50 and then we're going to move on to pole. So let's do it 50. Let's put, uh, put the box on the table. 10 kilogram box is still as you see that the weight all right so now the weight is still weight is still a 98 newton normal force and pushing force pushing force we see 50 newton so normal force has to be normal force has to be pushing force is ne newton so normal force has to be uh 148 so this is normal force is 148 now we have to fix the vector how do i know normal force is 48 so the 50 plus 98 i can show you the math fy is equal to fp minus f push minus fg fy is still zero because fy is still zero because f push is less than fg so zero is equal to fp is what fn is what we try to find minus fp is 50 minus 98 so fn is 148 newton so if that is the case 140 newton then we have to fix we have to fix something and that is the vectors so this is supposed to be the longest vector uh, just like the other scenario, so I'm gonna make it longer. Yeah. Okay. So try not to edit now, okay? Try to take two minute break. 
All right, the second longest is FG, so I'm gonna make the second longest one. Of course, I'm gonna make a different color, so it's gonna be uh, all the downward arrow, I'm gonna make it different color. Let's make it red, because I wanna be consistent with the one that I did before, so FG. All right, so I have one more, and that is uh, the F push. F push is 50, so F push is 50, uh, okay, uh, 50. So that app push. So now I see that I have two downward, uh, the red, one red and two red, two downward, and I have one upward, and I think they are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, making the net force zero, making the acceleration is zero, and making the velocity is zero. However, it changes the normal force, normal force 148, and as you see that, if you apply uh, 50 push, if you, if you push the box by 50 Newton, then the weight is still the same. However, the travel has to, has to do so much to keep the box uh, is still at rest and travel has to do so much and that is 148 newton as you see that the more you push uh, if you put if you apply zero newton if you push by zero newton the travel uh, has to exert 98 newton in order to keep the box at rest if you push by 10 newton the travel has to do so much but if you apply 50 newton travel really really have to do so much now let's see what happened when you apply when you pu pull instead of push so app pull let's say this is fg and this is fn so we start with zero and then 50 and then 100 so we have three extreme case small medium and large and let's start from here let's start from here so this is our table and uh, and uh, let's put the box on the table why not let's box on, um, box on the table and box is 10 kilograms so now the weight is as i said many times by now you know how to find the weight weight is weight is 98 newton okay and normal force would be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction is because the travel wants to keep the box at rest so they cancel each other making the net force is zero making the acceleration is zero and making the velocity is zero so this is the case newton first law all right so now we're going to change the scenario and let's see what happened when you change the scenario so the box of here is uh, is a 10 newton box 10 kilogram box so the fg is the same is still 98 newton however f pole is 50 newton this is f pole and the normal force is what so now you see that the table knows that someone pulling it so table become you know table is a smart thing table knows that someone pulling so table doesn't have to do so much so travel doing only uh 98 minus 50 and that is 48 so travel exert only 48 newton in order to keep the box at rest how did i do that I write Fy, all the forces acting in the y direction, including Fn, Fp, and Fg. Fp is positive, Fn is positive, they are pulling force, and Fg is negative because they are downward. Fy is zero, once again, is because F pole is still smaller than Fg. So zero is equal to Fn plus the fp is 50 newton minus 98 newton all right so fn actually is 48 newton all right so if fn is 48 newton then there is a problem we have i see our vectors are not drawn correctly so i'm going to make sure that our vectors are drawn correctly what is the largest vector largest vector is the gravity acceleration due to i mean the force the gravitational force or weight 
which is 98. So I'm going to make it bigger. Of course, I'm going to make it bigger. So this is the weight. The second biggest is the second biggest is for uh, the pulling force. So I'm going to make the pulling force second biggest. So this is the second biggest. What is the smallest? The smallest is the normal force. Now Tavol is happy in this situation is because Tavol does not have to uh, to exert that much force. So do you think that two upward arrow, two upward arrow is equal to the one downward arrow? I bet. So that creates normal force zero, uh, net force zero, acceleration zero, and velocity zero at the y direction. So this is the case of Newton fast law. Now we're gonna make it extreme. What do I mean? I mean what I said. Uh, so now we're gonna put the box on the table and this time we're gonna apply 100 Newton. So if we apply 100 Newton pulling force on the box, what happened? What would be the normal force? what would the normal force be this is a good question but let's first find the weight but before that let's update the table when pulling force is zero weight is 98 normal force is 98 when pulling force is 50 weight is 98 but normal force is 48 when pulling force is 100 weight is zero uh weight is 98 and normal force is actually normal force is zero you know that because the towel is off the ground why the towel is off the or boxes of the towel is because there is a net force how much net force acting on the box let's see 100 minus 98 and that is 2 newton can we see show it by newton second law in newton newton law yes fy is equal to fp or fn minus fp minus fg fn is zero why fn is zero is because there is a net force we see at the y direction so fy so since there is a net force at the y direction we're going to use newton's second law which is ma fp is 100 so negative 100 and fg is 98 so oh this is positive 100 because the pulling force is always positive this is positive okay minus 98 so ma is 2 newton okay so the mass is 10 kilogram so acceleration is 2 newton over 10 kilogram so then acceleration is 0.2 meter per second is square okay so what do we see we see that this is Newton's second law example of Newton's second law so this is uh, this is everything we did so far together a uh, few problem we, we did it a few problem we push the box and we saw that it does not affect the weight of the box however it does affect the normal force in case the table has to exert more forces to keep the box at rest if you push it so table probably doesn't like it on the other hand when you pull the box up by exerting upward force also it doesn't affect the weight but still it does affect the normal force in a in a way that table kind of likes it because the table the more forces you apply in the upward direction the less forces travel have to apply on the box so that box at rest thank you